inside a facility called Wen Tian Ge, or Wen Tian literally translated into the quest for space. Now, three tycoon knots are meeting the press. You're watching live footage from Zhou Chen in northwestern China. Standing in the middle position is uh, Mr. Chen Dong, the commander of the Shenzhou 14 mission. Ladies and gentlemen, friends from the press, good morning. According to the decision of the mission headquarters, the crew of the Shenzhou 14 manned mission is composed of three astronauts. They are astronauts Chen Dong, Astronauts Liu Yang and Astronauts Cai Xuzhe. Now, please allow me to invite Mr. Gao Feng, Director of the China Astronauts Research and Training Center, to give you more information about the crew. Ladies and gentlemen, friends from the media, good morning. Now, please allow me to brief you the crew members of the Shenzhou 14 manned space mission. Taekwong Nao Chen Dong. Male Han nationality originated from Zhengzhou, Henan province. Born in Luoyang, member of CPC master degree holder, born in December 1978, he joined the army in August 1997, joined the party in April 1999, and he is now class one astronaut of the PLA astronaut corps, achieving the rank of colonel. He was selected for the second batch for Chinese astronauts in May 2010 and carried out Shenzhou 9 mission. And at the same year, he was granted the honorary title of Space Hero by the CPC Central Committee, State Council, and the CMC, and also received the third class Space Flight Merit Medal. And after the assessment, he selected as the crew of Shenzhou 14 flight mission as a commander. Taekwondo Liu Yang, female, Han nationality, originated from Linzhou, Henan province, born in Zhengzhou. Member of a CPC doctoral degree holder, born in October 1978, joined the Army in August 1997, joined the party in May 2021. She is now premium astronaut of the PLA Astronaut Corps, holding the rank of a colonel. And she also was selected for the second batch for Chinese astronauts in May 2010. And she carried out the crew, the carried out the mission of Shenzhou 9. At the same year, she was awarded the honorary title of a space hero and also received the third class space flight merit medal. After the assessment, she also selected as one of the members of a Shenzhou 14 mission. Tai Xu Zhe. Male Han nationality originated from Shenzhou, Hebei province, a member of CBC master degree holder. Born in May 1976 and joined the army in the a joined the party in 1998. He is now class two astronaut of the APLA Astronaut Corp, holding the rank of a colonel, and also the second batch of the Taekwondo in May 2010. After the assessment, he also been selected to fly on Shenzhou 14. In accordance with the principle of science, rationality, fairness, and justice, the three astronauts have passed the comprehensive assessment with excellent performance and capability to carry out the mission. Thus, they were decided as the prime crew for Shenzhou 40 mission. Thank you. Now the floor is open for questions. Thank you. With CMG CCTV, first of all, congratulations. You are about to settle down in Chinese Space Station. I have a question for Commander Mr. Chen Dong. This time, I noticed that all the three Taikonauts come from the second batch of the astronauts. The average age group is also the youngest. 
Have you felt any pressure? And now you are carrying out a mission during the next stage. That's the stage for the construction of the space station. What has made you so confident? Thank you very much for your question. This time, again, I can join the mission for space, and I take the position as the commander. This is a sign of confidence from the authorities, and I'm also very proud of myself. And I can also feel a lot of pressure. In general, we are very young, but we are fully prepared for this mission, and we have full confidence to carry out the mission. We have worked together for 12 years, and we have been training together for two more years. We have become very good collaborators. We are unified in our mindset, in our work, and in our goals. I can feel a lot of pressure. But more importantly, I have demonstrated a lot of confidence and determination to complete this task. And Shenzhou 14 mission constitutes a very important part for the construction process of the space station. Facing the challenges, we are still assured because we have the support from our colleagues and also the people in this country. We are fully trained and we are fully determined and also confident to carry out a successful mission. Next question, please. Thank you. I'm with Xinhua News Agency. My question goes to our female taikonaut, Madam Liu Yang. As the first Chinese female astronaut in space, you have impressed all of us many years ago. This time you're about to carry out a new mission. Do you have any new feelings for this new mission? Over the past decade, we have attached a great attention to your development. Could you please share with us more details? Back in the year 2012, I joined the mission of Shenzhou 9. We were very proud by then, and this time we're about to carry out a new mission in the name of our country and our people. After 10 more years of training and learnings, we are more confident than the previous mission. Last time, when I leave the Tiangong Wan, I have made the gesture of salute, and I promise to it that I will come back. Over the past decade, I learned a lot, and I grown a lot. I'm fully prepared for a new mission. Over the past decade, I have joined the university for further studies, I have also become a lecturer. I have also created my own family. I had my children. And with the support from my family members, I become more confident about my career and also the future exploration of the space. I'm really thankful to this great era because this great era has made our dreams come true and we can grow together with this whole mission of the space station. I will continue to be very ambitious and I will never forget why I started in the very beginning and I will surely contribute my part to this mission. Next question, please. Thank you. With CMG. First of all, congratulations to Mr. Cai Xu Zhe for your participation in this new crew. For your two other colleagues, it's not the first time for them to carry out a space mission, but it's your maiden trip to the space. What's your feeling about that? Thank you very much for your question. This time I can carry out the mission of the Shenzhou 14 together with two other colleagues. I'm very proud of that. We are close friends and colleagues. We've worked together. In total, we have learned and practiced for 12 years. 
especially after being selected as a crew member for Shenzhou 14 mission, we have supported each other and we have collaborated closely with each other for the technology, for the physical and mental conditions we are all ready. We are a community of mission, of responsibility and of honor. We have the confidence and determination to successfully complete this mission and we will never fail this great era and we will never fail the expectation of the CPC and of our people. Next question, please. Thank you. With Xinhua Net, my question goes to the Commander Chen Dong. Six years ago, you have stayed in space for one month, and this time it will be much longer stay of six months. How do you feel this time? What's the difference between this current mission and your previous mission? Thank you very much for this question. Six years ago, I've completed the previous mission in space, and I've also experienced ever-growing ambition for another dream in the space. Now I can feel stronger will to go to the space or go back to the space. This time, compared to the previous mission, we have more tasks. After the entrance into the core module, we will carry out more missions, like we will receive the Meng Tian and the Wen Tian lab modules. They will make the system more stable and improve the functionality of the whole complex of the Chinese state space station. We will make full use of this platform to carry out more complicated scientific experiments, and the results of those experiments will benefits not only China but the rest of the world. Together with my colleagues, as well as the following up crew from the Shenzhou 15 mission, we will work together and the space station will host the six astronauts at the same time in orbit. We have a lot of expectation for this upcoming mission. I also hope that you will keep a close eye on our mission. Next question, please. Thank you very much. With CMG, my question to astronauts Liu Yang. You stay in orbit for 13 days where your last mission was the Shenzhou 9, and what's your expectation for this time? How you celebrate or to leave in orbit for six months, and we will conduct the EVA. Six months. We have a very tight schedule for this day, from single module to three cargo ship with three modules. So we will experience the five, the rendezvous and docking, three separation, two reposition, and also receive two lab modules. And we will also enter to these two lab modules and also use the a airlock carbine and also the a robotic arm for EVA and also will use the combination of the large and the small robotic arms. At the same time, we'll also conduct the science of popularization and we will also experience nine formations of the modules. That will be a lot of things to do. And also the time for us to celebrate the birthday for the country this time. And also we believe that we will also celebrate the mid-autumn festival as well. We believe that the vast universe will be our great gift to the motherland, and we're also looking forward to meet our following astronauts from Shenzhou 15. And I will also take more photos to share with you this spectacular cosmos. Talking about the EVA, that is a must for all astronauts to own the skills. I believe that you will see our present for this mission. Next question, please.
Thank you very much. With CGTN. My question to Taiko Nao Tsai Xuzhe. Very soon, you will have your debut fly to the space for 12 years. What's your feeling right now? And what's your expectation in orbit in terms of living and working? Thank you for your question. I have prepared for this mission for 12 years. I'm very proud, and I'm so happy, but I feel more on my shoulder this responsibility. And that this is a race. I'm just one of the players in terms of this race, but I still feel the, a responsibility I need to fulfill. I would like to say a big thank you to all the educators and scientists, and also a big thank you to all the supporting staff, my family members, because you are the strong wings for me to fly to the cosmos. All of you are my back. The most thing I'm looking forward is after rendezvous and docking with the two lights, we will have a Tiangong Space Station. But I also need to be really prepared myself to speed up to get used to the a microgravity environment. And also, when I'm off duty, I will enjoy the a beautiful cosmos and also look at our blue planet, our homeland, and also my hometown as well, and also the Yellow River and Yangtze River. I will share with you for sure. Thank you. One last question, please. Thank you very much, China Radio. My question to the crew of Shenzhou 14. And this year celebrate the 30th anniversary of the program, and so we will finish the completion of the construction of China's space station in your state. What's your feeling? So it's last question, right? All right, on behalf of the crew, let me take your question. We talk about when a person turns to 30 means that he become so strong enough to do the job by himself. You're looking back to these three decades, generation after generation of astronauts make their contribution to create Chinese miracles flying to a higher height. Right now we're coming to the stage of construction of our space station. I believe that's a dream shared by all people in this industry and also in the country. Very soon, we will build the Tiangong Space Station in our hands. We are so lucky and so happy. We will continue to promote the spirit of a two bomb, one satellite, as well as the a space program, and also we will fulfill our mission and responsibility, and also use our concrete action to welcome the opening of the 20th National Congress. Thank you very much. Due to the interest of time, the trail needs to do the final preparation for tomorrow's mission. And this is the end of today's meetup. Wish a full success of the mission and waiting for you. Safe return.